Hi everybody, this is Donna Lay from DonnaLay.com. I'm going to talk to you today about some super beginner, just two card spreads uh, with Lenormand. This is to give you some ideas for translations, and I'll be using a French Cartomancy Lenormand deck, which is a wonderful deck. Um, highly recommended, one of my favorites. I like cutting borders off. This is one that is before the trim. <laughs> And the reading today uh, is on a question, an actual question that says, I'd like to know what I can do to improve my finances. I've never had a Lenormand reading before. So let's see some of the possibilities we could get uh, with two card readings. So I'm just gonna fan out the cards here and see what comes up. <clears throat> so with Lenormand, we put together blends and um, interesting that we get um, these are two sneaky cards in many readings where you've got a kind of like the trickster and then the, um, the trickster is one who's a trickster and you don't know they're undercover. They're fooling you and you may not know it. It's kind of a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. The snake is the nasty one you know is doing the, the betraying or doing the business. But when we're looking for a job here, or what you can do for business, Fox can be actually a business, like a small cell phone business and snake can be about um, working with another woman it can be about uh, being flexible it can be about being slick a snake card can also be about doubts that we have regarding business so this can be looking at those doubts what they are and I usually read from left to right so it's like doubts related to business or what's biting something that hurts about business so this may be directing the person to look at that let's try another thing that we could have them look at another thing so there's a, this person seems to be having some trouble so something's taking away from what's it taking away from stability reading left to right the mice are little thieves and they're taking away something that's sunk so what's eating away at what's stable and while you're trying to keep something set in one spot what's taking away from that is it movement too much movement or is it something else that's doing it let's take another look cross good gracious same sort of trouble. Okay, so cross is about burdens, uh, about something you love, burdens of doing some passion. Um, something about this person that's bothering them is, uh, you're always coming up with these difficult cards first, so you can really see this person is having a hard time. Let's take another two, see if we can get more clues. We've got Lily, and we've got Dog. Now, dog is about companionships, loyalty, uh, friendship, and this lily. Now, depending on the system you use, uh, it can mean different things. Um, this could be actually in the system that I'm learning. It's about purity. Um, it can mean a long time. I also find this to be an older woman, which leads me back to that snake card too, and a friend or companion. So this may be a long-term friend or companion, maybe part of the answer or part of the problem if there is one in there already. Uh, it could also mean purity of a friend. That's something that needs to be considered. Whether you pull someone in that has that or if you have someone in already, that's what you want to look at. Is that something that might be holding them back since we got difficult cards before? And let's see what else we get. Let's say pull random birds and house. So birds are about conventions and meetings and just people talking together. It can be gossip, it can be singing, and the house is about the people we're closest to. So this may speak to um, people are talking about, people are in the house, it could be um, the, the groups of people that are within the house. If we look at this in the context of the question, um, if you're working out of your house, who are the people that are working with it? Could this be Twitter? tweeting about the the job could this be the marketing could this be um, the groups of people that you are you need to attract to your business or to your house bringing that to it okay so perhaps the dog in the past reading was about some loyal people we need to bring in something to consider let's look at two more in the context of this question so we've got stork and we've got child all right, very clear message here. Storks are about movement and migration, kind of moving across. The child is about new start. So if we're not talking about a literal child person, we're talking about starting something new or initiating something. So this means consider moving. You have to move something and consider something new. 
Now, if we are using this in the context of the other cards we pulled for this question, perhaps that friend or loyal person is something we have to move from or to and consider something new. Okay. Where else will this take us? Whip and broom. And gift. All right. So this could be something needs to be cleared away and that will prevent that will now bring forward gifts this is a succession of time something might be hurtful or, or feel like I'm, I'm almost punishing something or someone but actually brings a gift it's also about a sweeping or a clearing away uh, brushing out the old and uh, taking a look at what's left which would be the gifts uh, so those are some other options and one last peek with the scythe cutting away a commitment okay so i think this is pretty clear something and someone does have to be cut away it looks like um and a commitment or promise or something new has to come now some people will read it this modifies this so it would be a cutting away of a commitment um, i tend to read it more as you have to cut something and then you have to make a commitment either way it may make sense to you but um, this has to do with kind of uh, harvesting what you got making a promise. So you may have to have either new, that new person come in, cut out doing it by yourself and make a promise or a commitment, or you may have to uh, either take someone that's there and perhaps they're not serving you as best as they could. And this is what's gonna give you hope and even kind of scatter you and put you out there. I see stars as metastasizing and that can be a positive thing for a business because it puts little pieces of you out there for everybody to see for long-term stability. So you can keep adding little cards here. It has to do with a male, a man person, who may not be clear thinking. Alrighty, so those are some things to think about. Just little pieces here and there for a Lenormand reading toward this business. And I hope that was helpful to you. I hope that you understand what we're talking about and uh, any feedback would be welcome. Enjoy your Lenormand.